the second part in our special report on ATM fraud, we now take a closer look on ATM card skimming and on what can be done to lessen the risk. Here's our report. Among the types of ATM fraud, it is incidents of ATM card skimming that continue to rise in the Philippines. Skimming is done by attaching a device in the card slot that reads data through the magnetic strip. A small camera is installed on the machine to get the cardholder's PIN number. This is a credit card skimmer. An ATM card skimmer is much thinner than this to fit into the card slot. The NBI said, to determine if an ATM machine may be tampered, check the card slot and be wary of small protruding cameras. Kung bagong bago yon, yung portion na yon, tapos matagal na yung ATM machine na yon, then it's an indicator that uh, or that an ATM device might have been installed. Kapag nakalabas, may nakita kang maliit na camera or may uh, uh, glass na maliit, then there's a possibility that a pinhole camera. Cybersecurity experts warn that cyber criminals are getting more creative. Question is, are we helpless against ATM fraud? Our experts say they know how these crimes can be prevented. There are some very, very good people who work IT and IT of the information technology and payment systems uh, security within the Philippines. The problem comes not from the quality of the people that we have working here. In my view, it's the willingness to put out the money that's needed to make the the investment to make the security um, to, to make it work better. To be fair, there are some banks that have responded to the threat. I know that some, if not all, banks have uh, acted on this issue. That's why you'll find some ATMs with an additional device uh, with LED lights on the card slot. Okay, and the, the, the card is fed slowly into the machine. That's a sort of control no? uh, that they use to ensure that the, there's no skimming device on the card slot. Some ATM machines have covers over their keypads as well. It would be cheaper for them to meet certain or, or install certain security measures than to carry the, the, the loss. Right? So, yeah, that, that's, that's what the bank will have to do. As ATM fraud is fought in cyberspace, ATM cardholders can make mitigating measures of their own. For us as account holders, though, we have to understand that we play a vital role in this as well. It's not just them. It's not just the banks. Filipinos have been using ATM machines for decades, and with its convenience, many have learned to trust it. It's time for cardholders to be more aware of the risk factors in using the ATM. Our experts suggest the following. Use ATM machines in safe and secure locations, preferably well-guarded. Standalones or off-site machines are often not as secure. Pay attention to the surrounding when using the ATM machine. Check the ATM for possible tampering. Make sure your hands are covered while you enter your PIN number. After using the ATM, place your palm over the keypad to distribute heat. In case of card capture or when cash trapped, immediately contact your bank's hotline number to report the incident and ask for your card to be blocked. We also understand that we will never make a perfect system. There will never be a perfect crime either because if someone can commit a crime, we can find out a way to defeat that. But as much as we expect banks to maintain an effective IT risk management system, it is still not a guarantee it could stop fraud forever. As Stephen Cutler points out, cybercrimes is a constant back and forth between perpetrators and security people. In part three of our series, we will look into how government intends to deal with ATM fraud. Amelin Veloso for Solar Investigates.